Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kelsey, and I'm an actor and voice actor living in Chicago where it is raining currently. Wow, it's almost like I'm out in the rain. The magic of green screens. Um, anyway, today I'm going to be reacting to For the Emperor, Warhammer 40K Space Marine by the Russian Badger. Um, if you watch this channel, you know that Almost everybody here knows about Space Marines and Warhammer. I don't. So uh, in the service of Kit and Mike and Zach, it's time for me to learn some stuff about Space Marines and Warhammer, hopefully with the Russian Badger himself. Let's go. I came here to do two things and two things only. Purge okay. heretics and steal property. And I already stole your property. So oh, no. let's do this. Face your heresy. Oh. For the Emperor! All right. Welcome to the grim darkness of the start. future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness oh. is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's peace? only war. Abandon uh -oh. reason! No, only war! In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the wow. sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And what's the only thing Xenos. defending us from them? Feels like a Dinkelberg moment, you know, like Dinkelberg. You might Except ask Zeno. Space Marines. Get off the ship, Space Marine! Space Marine! Ice Genetically modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store, only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. Oh. Die! We're talking two oh. hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're three. talking night vision. We're, not We're talking four. eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look Big like boys. Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. Oh. We are the bringers of death. Think of them as religion fuel death machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that Crusaders. isn't human while also not being racist racist space marines aren't racist we love all races as long as they don't have green skin mm. false god. Suspicious. or you know belong to a different religion <laughs> I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. Even gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, mm. and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, mm. and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists, but at least they aren't trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand, one such chapter- I am thankful that he put it out there that I do not need to understand this lore, because- Otherwise, I would have tried, and I guarantee you I would have failed. Thank you. Our space Marines are the Ultramarines. Or if we're being honest, That's a Ultra color. Smurfs. That are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Clever uh -oh. the damned orcs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value absolute. So I'm, that I'm guessing that's pretty important then. Exterminators? Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. No. You occupy the role no. of Captain Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rule book called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! <laughs> to be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected Crypt Marine... Oh, mods, my favorite. I played as a Blood Marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. I scum! No prisoners! For the Emperor! Ah! So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called oh, Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're approaching us, so spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge-ass Titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children little that guy. shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Why? It's like the... <laughs> Come on. It's like the child zombies in Minecraft. It's like, what? They're so fast and annoying and tiny. You're like, what? 
Get out of here. Get me. Yeah. Oh. All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself. Who oh, was that's basically a big boy. Shrek in his final. He's he's. <laughs> no, not Shrek. I love that all of his armor is very huge and spiky and intimidating and probably what every 14 year old boy uh, loves. But the one shoulder, just a touch of ska for the for the fun of it. Just a little ska. I wish I, I wish there was a mod where you could play this game and have like ska music playing just for this guy. Just a, a touch of ska. Form. You trying to steal my giants? He says steal while he's skanking. Moves. I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! Uh-oh. Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy right. bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, Whoa. it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's what? That's right, these guys are so draconian, they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies are the oh health gosh. kits. <laughs> Just crump some poor what? orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die. Die. Yum. Your melee weapon of Yum. choice is a trade-off between speed <laughs> and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. <laughs> On great. the other hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits it's like a bus, here. running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey, yo, Orc, <laughs> you Elon Musk, I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And got you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. And I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it. And I'm oddly okay with that. <laughs> if you want to get fancy, music? you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun oh, multiple enemies and literally choke slam any them. motherfucker still standing. Die, so it's safe to say that mm. when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely but they're does not approve. Racist, I said, save some... I think I stunned too hard, I'm stuck in the terrain. Brother, brother, I am stuck in the terrain. <laughs> Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Wait a second, is he... I gotta know, I will probably never know, but I would like to know if while he's streaming this or recording himself playing, he has like the voice mod on to make him sound like one of these space marines, or if he added that in post. Either way, it's very clever and fun. Brother, 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 I am pinned here. Eventually, you'll realize He's you pinned. can't just slice your way through the game. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader, Meme Roth. <laughs> Meme Roth. Noise. Cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing right. guns if it you want can. to survive. Or more specifically, bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms because it may be used uh -oh. like an assault rifle. Well, I but instead of that, firing then. a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which uh. should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially like uh. firing a self propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating <laughs> its target, Red Bull. making it almost into an assault rifle. Rifle RPG hybrid. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading on Imperium Outposts or Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. You have downward mm. variants and upward variants, like the Bolter pistol, in case you've got something heavy in your hands, and my personal favorite, the Stalker Bolter, which is the most satisfying sniper rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, and two, and not three, not four, <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned, because that was embarrassing. If you absolutely, positively, have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. For the first, what happens after that, though? Perfection. 
The accuracy of the storm bolter. Not. Eh, just put him <laughs> anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and well, usually oh, long range. Way to I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker. How many Warhammer memes are there? This man has already put like so many in this video. For the Laz Cannon or Laz Cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan Laser, that was clearly superior because here's Oops. me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. A lot of Thank the Emperor! I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laz Cannon. By the Emperor! Oh, that's powerful! He's for gone! Your heavy slot, it's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A <laughs> Vengeance Launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, all but all of these specialized Work weapons time. rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask rolling. me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But channeling uh, your Dark Souls character sure to kite enemies or get to objectives it. faster is a significant- I don't know much about Warhammer. But all, all I know is that there is so much lore. There's just a ton of lore, like, more than most other fictional franchises, would you even call this? I don't even know. There's a lot of lore. Lore that I likely will never know. And I think I'm okay with that, because that seems like a lot to get caught up on significant portion of your playthrough. It's even useful in boss fights, because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here he comes! This is Here just he me comes. playing Here any- Here he comes! Oh, oh baby! How playing any Zelda game? Oh. On that note, there are even these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called Squigs oh no, he has two that eyes. explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, Squig Merch! Merge into the group. Get in there. Look at him. Get in there. Yeah. But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder jump hammer pack. is like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Uh. Outside of LeBron. Five seconds left. LeBron leaps. Oh, my Emperor. LeBron James with a complete disregard for orc life. <laughs> LeBron, no. <laughs> No, not this the jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places <sighs> in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. Wow. My and now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything, and that's called Fury. If being a space marine wasn't berserker? already super soldier berserker enough, mode? you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well, Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health okay. surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general for vicinity. Punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury Ooh, becomes more fun. and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow oh. motion bullet time mode as a badass cool. space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> time mode in like any game it's like it's just my favorite thing it's so fun The uh -oh. only aspect of the game there that I goes. love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. So you may there be able to criticize some gun. stretches of nothing the game for being just less. running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years. I still me in literally any game. Oh, no. I was obs I was so upset when I realized while playing Pokemon uh, Arceus that rolling was not any faster than just walking. I was so upset. 
Hey, look! A lift! But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like oh. you. Ah! Stop assisting! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't uh. all that important, seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character oh, wow. is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that Slash doesn't put older. me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> You know what that sounded like? That scream? If you've ever seen the old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, like stop action, stop motion thing, movie, special, Christmas holiday special, um, the, <laughs> the character Yukon Cornelius going, Wahoo! That is what that dude sounds like. He's just Ska Yukon Cornelius with scary armor. Yukon Cornelius. Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Right. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Uh-oh. Engaging warp spider! Ah! A warp me, spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna mm -hmm. hit the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's There's obsessed a booty. with becoming ah. ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game Another booty. is about the gameplay, that dude's not booty about is the a story. Face. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something, crash his way. It's oh. not about the plotting, it's about the purging! Okay, the I believe end. you. And that's about it, but before I go, I wanted to mention as I'm wow, recording, recording this video in the right now, it is $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored video. I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an unbiased position, if you have $7 on you that you're not going to spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes <laughs> to understand, Warhammer 40k that's is fascinating. Thing. So again, $7, totally worth it. Thanks very much for watching, and be sure to tune in next time when we make fun of the salamanders. Space Force. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh no. Wowie. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I thought maybe I would learn stuff about the lore, but I'm very grateful that I didn't because I don't think I would have understood it or absorbed it. Uh, but what I learned is it's a, it seems like a satisfying game to play and uh, like it's pretty well put together. Will I ever play it? I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it seems like a game that you can enjoy outside of knowing the lore, which is cool. So, I like that about it. I like games um, from big franchises that, like, you would think it would, like, scare off people who don't know much about the the world that the game takes place in. Because it's like, oh no, it's like, there's so much to learn, there's so much lore. But I like it when... It's something that people who are familiar with the lore can enjoy and when it's something that people who are not familiar can enjoy. Um, so that seems like what this is, and I love that. Thank you guys for joining me. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and I'll see you next time.